Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Jana Artificial Intelligence. So in today's lecture, we'll discuss about generative AI. Let's start begin. So what is generative AI? Generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence that can create new content such as images, text, music, audio, video. It does by learning pattern from existing data, then using this knowledge to generate new and unique data. So this generative AI techniques can learn from the existing data, whatever the data it has. And based on the data only, it can generate the new and unique data, unique outputs. And what is the capabilities of generative AI? The main capabilities of generative AI is to produce the highly realistic and complex contents that can mimic the human creativity, making it a valuable tool many industries such as gaming industry, entertainment industry, product designs, and there are a lot of other ind industries which are currently use generative AI models. So these models are trained on large data sets of existing content and then can, and, and can learn to generate the new content that is similar to the content which are trained on. Means whatever the input data it has, whatever the input data like um, content like text, images, audio, video, whatever the input images, input contents you are giving. So it can, uh, it can train on these images and so uh, based on this uh, training data only it can generate the new Im image. So that is the main fundamentals of generative AI. Now we'll discuss about where does it falls in generative AI in our machine learning phenomena. So it's uh, so if uh, in the machine learning, um, machine learning, it's in the inside this machine learning there is a deep learning you can see. So if the machine learning is the super set, the inside this so, uh, subset only the deep learning falls. So why the deep learning coming to the pictures? If there is the uh, if there is a very complex amount of data means complex structural data where the um, like the textual data in images data this type of data calculations cannot be accumulated by the machine learning algorithms that's why the deep learning algorithm is come but in the inside this deep learning algorithms uh, one other other component is coming the generative ai models so what are these models like the whatever the models is the large language models or the large uh, images models this Models are based or research in this in this area only in deep learning area. Now we'll discuss about the different types of generative model. First one is text generation. These models are used to generate text such as news article, creative writing, summarizations. So. In this models, uh, models in the input or the prompt, whatever we are giving the text, and it will generate the new text. Okay, such as the news articles, creative the writing, poems, whatever it is, and it can generate the new code also. So these are all text generation model. These are all based on large language model. And the next one is next type of model is image generation model. Okay, these models are used to generate new images such as painting, photograph, cartoons. So in this models only, if you provide, if you, if you as an input, if you put any image, so it can, uh, based on these images, based on, uh, based on these images, it can generate the new images. And it can do, in, in, in this model, it can do the painting, photographs and cartoons, this type of things. Audio generation, these models are used to generate audio, such as music, speech, sound, effects, etc. So in this model, if you put, if you as an input, if you if you are providing any textual data, um, then based on this data only, it can generate the new audio or new speech. So these are all audio generation model. Video generation model. These models are used to generate videos such as movies, TV shows, music videos, etc. So video generation in this model only, if you provide any input images or text. Uh, so based on this um, uh, input data only, it can, uh, based on this training 
input images or text it can generate the new videos such as the movies tv shows uh, shows and music videos like that now we will discuss about the what are the different types of um, means what, what are the uh, difference between the your discriminative means uh, your traditional machine learning algorithms and the gener uh, generative algorithms so in our traditional or discriminative algorithms techniques if we provide as input as a cat here you can see it will classify as a black I mean, whether this um, uh, input is a cat or dog so this uh, these are all the in our traditional machine learning model this is the classification model it will means if you are providing any cat images no so it will train these cat images and it will classify uh, it will uh, detect whether it is a cat and dog but in case of generative techniques generative models creating uh, if you are providing these cat images so by this uh, generator or discriminator it can uh, be trained on these cat images uh, and this generator model generator or discriminator it can generate the new cat images here you can see the new cat images is generated so this both uh, so this is the difference between your machine learning model and your generative AI model. Machine learning model can classify the output value, okay, based on the input value. But in generator model, it will um, it, it will generate a new content. So based on the training data only, based on the new input um, input um, data, whether it is a cat, whether it is images or text um, or um, anything video, it can generate the new text or images. So this is the main difference between uh, discriminative model and the generative model okay so that's all uh, in today's lecture we have discussed about the generative ai and the different types of generative ai um, models and uses of generative models and we, we have discussed um, means uh, we have this we have differentiated between your uh, traditional machine learning model as well as your um, generative model ai model so that's all in today's lecture. In the next lecture, we'll discuss about different types of model, like attention model, transformer model, but this type of algorithms in general, generative alg algorithms. So that's all in today's lecture. So please um, uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel. So please uh, subscribe our, our channel. And um, uh, if you want to know broader things and know the descriptions know know the details about this generative ai model you can visit in our website that is the link is there in in our um, video descriptions you can go to the you can go to to our website portal in our online learning portal you can log in there and you can take our generative ai course from there so thank you thank you everyone that's all in today's lecture we'll see you in our lecture next lecture thank you